Hi there, the five pound challenge is what we're doing today. Uh, in Australia and anywhere else with a logic based measurement system, it's 2.26 kilograms to stay within the rules of Prepared Mind 101's test. So let's get to it. I've put a few things together and I'm actually a fair bit under, so uh, let's uh, go through my five pound 2.26 kgs max survival kit. Stay with me, folks. There is a scale, let's begin. First item is some paracord. Yeah, 129 grams for paracord. So we're thinking, if you're going to think of a number that I need to stop before I get to, it's 2,260. 2.26 kilograms or 2,260 grams. So paracord is the first thing going in the kit. That's your cordage, I suppose, if you're thinking of five C's. Second item is part of the combustion, but also somewhat of a multi-tool. This is the best thing when you're looking at size limits, is to try and find things that do multiple things. So this is your com this is your compass. Got a very good. Um, so I think they're using silver brand button compasses at this point in the, in the KM match safe construction. A bit of cordage around there, probably. I'm not going to fiddle around with too much, and then just some matches in there as well for a bit of extra combustion. You need to add a striking plate there, which will be minimal, minimal extra weight. So that 63 grams. Next item, also in the combustion theme, is a light my fire scout fire steel 29 grams. Good little fire steel, pretty thin, but. Makes good sparks. Lead lens a P3. Just a little torch. Good enough. Weighs 36 grams. All sorts of things on this bad boy. The Victorinox Explorer. So you've got a knife which is adept at piercing tasks because you'll see my other cutting tool later is not. And then you've got um, just your drivers. This one's got a magnifying glass as well which I think would be a cool little outdoor survival tool, you've got some prying options with your larger screwdriver and such can opener, a little pair of scissors for first aidy type things got a corkscrew for whatever they use corkscrews for and you've got an awl which is a good little bushcraft tool a couple explorers are very well spent, 101 grams I would say this is a little uh, wax tin, my Texan wax, it's got a bit of wax in there but it is just a good little tin for carrying and making some char cloth with and also the wax is a good little thing to use to extend the life of your your tinder that you find so happy to spend another 41 grams on that bad boy there this next one's a big one but it's a very well spent 312 grams, 311 grams rather, it's a first aid kit uh, survival kits really are you know just an extension of first aid kits really this is when stuff's already happened to you that's bad and the rest of the kits kind of prevent more bad stuff happening to you. This has just got a bit of everything, band-aids, antiseptic ointments, little band to keep mosquitoes away. I've added some beefier meds in there, I've got some polaramine in there which is like a good, uh, it'll not only uh, help you with any allergies or um, mucus and stuff, it'll also help you have a good night's sleep. <laughs> My bush need some germline, this is great stuff. Sort of like an ointment, um, also an anaesthetic, so it's really good um, for little cuts and bites and stuff that are giving you the giving you the grievances and such. So you just of course band-aids and other things like that as well. Good kit and uh, two mylar blankets in there as well, which is helpful with the shelter. Little bear grills, priorities of survival. Four grams. Yeah, it's something to read. It's not a bad little booklet. I know he's a bit cheesy, but I reckon if you were bored, you'd just be and just sitting waiting for help. You'd just be keen on reading anything. This is a very well used um, ultralight tarp. Very very thin, papery, but it's really strong as well. It's like plasticky. You wouldn't want to keep it too close to the fire, but I think we actually I think I actually paid a fair bit of money for this a long long time ago, and I did a big walk in Melbourne. Um, it's like any ultralight backpacking sort of stuff. It's all it all just costs heaps. So it's a uh, like 60, 60 grams for it's a uh, six by six tarp, so it's huge for, for what it is. It just folds down to nothing as well, like really thin. I don't even know what brand it is, I couldn't tell you. Good little tarp. 
Next is your um, cooking kit, which is uh, for me an empty clean canteen and the um, GSI, I think it's a GSI cup that clean canteen fits in. That's a very well spent 400 grams. Probably the heaviest thing in the kit. Until you get to the next bad boy. So this is the final item really, uh, apart from the bag itself that I keep it in. My main tool is going to be a little Gransfer's hatchet. You notice the absence of a saw? I figure I'll bring this instead, rather than carrying a knife and a saw. Hatchet, supported by the little pocket knife. Great cutting tools. 320 grams, plus the sheath, 360. Because i got room to spare, I might even chuck in a little holster, bring it up to 425. And the bag that I'm bringing all this stuff in is a Trail Runner by Black Wolf. I've chosen this because it is so damn light. It weighs nothing. It's got a couple of pouches for organization. I'll just fill it up with all the stuff now and then put it on the scales. I'll do it on camera so you don't know I'm not lying about the weights. So that. So that. Just stuff it in. Bad boy there. Those things. That. In the main compartment. We're done. Front part, that, that. 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 Little torch. Paracord in this side pocket here. And there. Yep, I'm just going to drink bottle portions. So. Come with a tiny, tiny little drink bottle. Like it would be like a 325ml drink bottle, just useless. But I think it's only about a $30 little, little waste pack anyway. So just for example's sake, this is just to show that everything I've gone through is actually in there. Oop, except for this. Oh, I don't want to miss that. That'll change things. So zip that up. So remember we're after under 2.26 2 kilos. Whack it on there. 1898. That's pretty good. So I am really I'm almost 500 grams under. So I could stick in, geez, I could stick in anything else. Sharpening stone. But then you think, I, I think if anything, I'd just add, uh, add some extra sort of bedding type stuff, really. Because really, um, all my other five C's are really covered, except for cover. But then the difference with me is I'm in Australia and you guys are all in America, so cover is really less essential for me. It really is just more cover from the sun rather than cover from the elements and exposure. Um, perhaps cover from mosquitoes is another another factor. So I could put in some um, uh, and like citronella stuff maybe, or some citron some mosquito spray. But I think for a very basic kit, I reckon I've done pretty well. I'll uh, put the bag on and I'll show you how it looks. Well, there you have it. Got a few things hanging off it, but. Pretty nice padded little waist strap, sits rather nicely on my rump. I guess the only other question I guess you'd have is, what am I going to do with all this junk, all this junk, inside my trunk? 5 pounds survival kit, 2.26 kilos. Thanks for watching dudes.